Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and you're watching Sewscape, a channel where I talk all about sewing, creativity, and Berta style. Today I'm showing you everything I'm planning on making from the July issue of Berta style. I still haven't got my issue yet. Today is Wednesday, I think the 5th, maybe it's the 6th, so I'm hoping it's going to come in the mailbox today. It's usually, it used to be the last week of the previous month, but now it's become the first week of the month of the issue. So it's coming a bit later, but that's okay. I just do lots of plans so that they carry me on into the next month. So I am really inspired by this month's issue. I haven't gotten a chance to flip through the actual version, but just look online and see everyone's previews. So I'll show you what I am planning on sewing this month. The first thing on my list this month is Viscose Dress 102. And this is a lovely maxi dress with gathered tiers and it has little tie bows over the shoulder. The fabric that I am thinking is this gorgeous, viscose print that was given to me by a friend of mine about a year ago. It's really nice and drapey and totally soft and silky and I think this would make a really lovely breathable maxi dress. I have one other maxi dress in my wardrobe. I don't wear it a ton but it is like black and polyester so it it doesn't breathe that well. So I'm thinking even though in the summer like I'll probably wear this because of how breathable it is how light it is so even in the heat i'm sure this maxi dress will still keep me nice and cool so the pattern has a center front seam i'm pretty sure yes it has a center front seam so i'm thinking i'm gonna play with the stripes a little bit maybe get a little creative and kind of have you know the stripes do a chevron pattern in the middle and then um i don't know if i'm gonna do for the tiers vertical or horizontal stripes or like vertical and then horizontal stripes. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking with these stripes, I might wanna play with them. I might feel brave and it'll make this pattern feel a little bit more elevated. So yeah, this is something I'm planning on sewing up this month. And then the next thing on my list is Denim Skirt 103. And this is a really cute high-waisted denim skirt. And I have always found every jean skirt that I've had has always had buttons up the front. And in stretch denim, when there's buttons up the front and it's really nice and fitted, uh, I find the buttons always pull apart and it looks like I am like escaping out of it. And I feel like with stretch denim, it needs to be tight enough to fit around your curves, but not so tight that the buttons come apart. So this is a really great jean skirt that doesn't have any kind of buttons up the front of it. And so it has a side zip and two front pockets. I might put back pockets on mine. This jean skirt is going to be something awesome to sew up. I have this lovely bleached indigo denim here. It's got a little bit of stretch to it. I've sewn a pair of jeans from this fabric and then I just sewed a pair of shorts. And the pair of shorts that I sewed, I actually bleached the denim. So I sewed the shorts all up and then I took them, put the shorts in a bucket with some diluted um, bleach and they're really awesome. I love the color. So I'm thinking I might even take it a step further and bleach this even further. So this is the color the denim started out as. And this is the color of my shorts. <laughs> they really need a wash. They're very wrinkly, but it bleached really well, so I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing with this fabric to maybe bleach it, maybe distress, a distress it a little. I feel... I'm not really sure about distressing denim. I feel like some of the wear and tear that takes place on denim needs to be earned, so I feel like maybe... maybe I won't distress them. The next thing I want to sew up is this fabric here is this lovely white cotton print and it's really lightweight really nice and drapey so originally i had planned for this fabric just from looking at online it was jersey top 124 but i didn't realize that it was supposed to be jersey so looking at this now i'm not sure if i have enough fabric to make this top but then i was looking at that maxi dress and I was thinking maybe, you know, kill two birds with one stone and just add a little peplum ruffle 
to the top and do like a really short almost crop top with those tie sleeves oh, and I think this will actually be so cute this has gotten me so excited about that so I think that's actually what I'm gonna do I just decided right now oh my gosh that is so fun so yeah we'll see I don't have that much fabric but we'll play around with this and I need a couple like just little tops to go with all the shorts and bottoms that I'm making so I think this would be really cute as a little teeny tiny crop top the next thing I'm planning on sewing are Bermuda shorts 116 and the fabric that I'm hoping to use for this is this lovely brown feels like a viscose twill but I think it has a little bit of polyester content to it. I just used this fabric that I had in a different colorway for a skirt that I made and it's beautiful but not super breathable. So I'm going to make these shorts almost as a wearable toile and then we will see if I like them, see if I like the style. I don't have any like drapey shorts that I wear out into the world. They're all kind of shorts that I wear at home like pajama shorts so I'm gonna try doing you know a pleated short and I think out of a drapey fabric it'll look really good and I love this color like I feel like it's nice and warm on my skin tone like I like to wear cool stuff but then I feel like when I have warm it just looks like rich and lovely so I have just over a meter of this I'm not sure how much fabric the shorts take it comes with like a belt pattern where you make the belt but I like to switch out my belts all the time so I will not be making the belt and just be making the shorts the last fabric that I want to show you my last sewing plan which really needs to get done I keep putting it off being like oh I have lots of time to get it done is a dress for my brother's wedding so I had this lovely polka dot tool and I had this in a cream color and I actually used some writ dye and I colored it this lovely pale peachy pink when it's all together it looks insane like I look at this fabric and I'm like what have I done what have I done but when it's only the kind of single single layer of it I really like the color so I'm thinking I'm going to do this pattern that I sewed for the bodice um, a couple months ago. I think it was a May issue of Berta Style and it had this crazy big bow on it. I didn't make the bow for my dress. Well, I made it. I just didn't put it on. So I'm thinking the strapless bodice of this dress fits me almost perfect. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that but make the neckline a little more sweetheart. Just kind of curve it in. And then do just like a a full circle skirt with lots of tool layers so I'm thinking I'm going to use this as the top layer of the dress so like and then line everything with just a few layers of tool and I don't want it to be too crazy pink so I'm thinking for all the other layers I'm gonna use like quite a nude or like a cream color tool just so it doesn't look too crazy and I'm thinking with the circle skirt the end the bottom will almost look like an ombre effect like it'll get lighter to the bottom of the skirt with all the different layers of tool so I think that'll be really nice I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to this I'm just kind of mismatching things together but this week me and my kids we're gonna drive down to the next town over and that's where our local fabric store is as local as it gets and I'm gonna kind of buy all the bits and pieces for this dress um, I'm hoping it comes together quickly but we will see and that is everything I have to show you guys today I wanted to mention in a previous video I had said oh like summer is so busy I I don't have that much time for sewing but I went down a couple days a week at work um, I work as a hairstylist and I used to work five days a week and in the summer just with my kids and childcare schedule I'm only working three days a week so I feel like there's a lot more time for sewing and you know doing fun stuff with the kids and so I'm being a little ambitious with all the projects that I want to do this month they might not all get done but uh, shoot for the stars and if you miss you'll land among them or something like that hey <laughs> So I hope you guys have the most wonderful rest of your day. I will see you guys next time. Happy sewing. Bye-bye.